Alright, Maleficent is a fairly easy boss, so this video is actually going to cover both the Dumbo strat uh, right before Maleficent as well as the fight itself. So, first things first, before I get to this point, I prep my summon menu to be on the last one, which is Dumbo, or in higher difficulties, if you have Mushu, it would be right above Mushu, but uh, at this point in the game you can't have Mushu anyway, so it should always be the last one. So I prep it to be the last, and then I go ahead and touch this crystal. Now, the trick with Dumbo is that we're going to uh, use Dumbo, we're going to summon Dumbo and then dismiss him, which causes Sora to flip upwards, and then I'll grab that ledge right there and uh, flip myself up onto the platform and go through the door. It skips having to go all the way around the tower um, and saves quite a bit of time. The only problem is we need to spawn enemies in order to summon anything. So, to do that, I'm going to step forward and spawn the enemies. But, I have to be as quick as possible because the enemies can actually hit me. So, I'm going to take three dodge rolls and then keep holding forward as I select Dumbo from my summon menu. Uh, and after which point, I'll be spamming the R3 button in order to center the camera behind Sora while holding the uh, jump button, X for me, circle if you're using English, to climb to make a Dumbo rise in the air. I'll then be dismissing him as soon as I get right about to that corner, right there in the center of the screen. So, without further ado, this is what works well for me, and let's see if I can hold off. So you notice I took about one step after the three dodge rolls, and that's really just because I'm still holding forward. So right now I'm holding uh, the jump button and spamming R3 to center the camera. I'm immediately moving forward, and as soon as I get to the corner, I dismiss the combo and flip up. That's about all there is to it. Different people have different setups that work for them. You'll have to find out what works for you, but I do highly recommend practicing Dumbo, as it saves a lot of time and is fairly easy to mess up. The depth perception while on Dumbo is actually pretty hard to gauge, so definitely give it a lot of practice. Now, now that Dumbo is over, we're going to be focusing on the Maleficent fight. Uh, Note that my current MP situation is a little bit lower than it normally would be, but it really doesn't matter. Um, you really just need to have at least 3 or 4 MP before this fight, as you want to open with an R's Arcanum. We're going to be using two R's over the entire fight, but the second one's going to come after several aerial hits. So that should recharge my MP bar uh, fairly well. So at the very beginning of the fight, I'm going to be holding top right on my left analog stick, and then immediately jump and glide up onto the platform with Maleficent on it. Then I'm going to do two to three hits on her, being especially certain not to use any finishers, and go immediately into an Ars Arcanum. After that, I'll be using uh, three hit aerial combos without using finishers. Again, I cannot stress that enough. Finishers will destroy this fight. Uh, and then after she gets below about 80% or so of her green bar, then I will go into another Ars Arcanum to finish off the fight. So, here we go. Immediately jump and glide, lock on. I do two hits, sometimes I do three. Do everything except the finisher. One, two, three. 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 And now she's low enough, so immediately go into another Ars Arcanum. And that's the fight. Basically, this fight is pretty free as long as you don't use finishers. Um, as soon as you use either the finishing move from Ars Arcanum or from one of Sora's finishers, you will actually stagger Maleficent and cause her to teleport away. So, pretty easy and uh, really not one that you have to worry too much about once you've done it once or twice. <laughs> 